Today we're going to talk about symbols. Symbols affect both native language speakers and English as a second language speakers. Today we're going to look first at the subject of English or language arts or reading class. Now the first symbol we're going to talk about is the period. Periods typically come at the end of sentences. So in a common sentence like, I watched a baseball game, at the end of it you would put a period. The next, next we'll look at the exclamation mark. The exclamation mark or exclamation point is used to typically show excitement or emphasis on a particular sentence. And this, if we use the same sentence we had the last time, I watched a baseball game, instead if we put an exclamation on it, we'll read it something like this. I watched a baseball game. Now we've shown excitement and emphasis, that's why we've used the exclamation point. Third, we have the question mark. Question marks are used, as you would think, to ask a question. And if you add a sentence such as, did I watch a baseball game? You'll notice my voice changed a little bit. I had different intonation to show that I was trying to acquire information via my question. Now, now we have a comma. Commas are used for basically pauses in language. So anytime you see a comma, it represents a time for the speaker to pause. So, in this sentence, I have a series. And in series, we always use commas to break up the series. So I have the sentence, I watched baseball, football, and soccer. You can notice that when I was speaking, I paused after baseball, football, to, to allow myself a chance to breathe before I continued on my sentence. The next mark we have is an apostrophe. Apostrophes are less common in symbols, but they are very important in the language. Apostrophes are used two times. They're used um, once for contractions, as you'll see here, I'll explain this one, and there's a second option that is for possession. So the first sentence, I said, you cannot watch the game. Sorry, period. I broke down the word cannot, and instead I said, can't. You can't watch the game. You can see I put the mark here to show you how to use it. Or, in order to show possession, I have a sentence here that says, Dave's stories are the best. So I used the apostrophe to represent possession for my stories. Now, the next subject we're going to talk about is in mathematics. Symbols are very common in math. But for an elementary student, they won't get into even close to all the symbols you'll see in math class. We're just going to talk about some of the basics. So in math, really all, the, all a second grader or an early uh, elementary student would need to know is the plus sign, the minus sign, and the equal sign. The plus sign represents addition. The minus sign represents subtraction. And equal signs always used to say that something equals something else. So I'll just give you some basic problems. If you had 2 plus 4 and you wanted to know what it equaled, it would be 6. Or if I had 10 minus 5, it would have to equal something and it would equal 5. Those are your basic symbols you'll have in mathematics and you'll see for the first and second grader. Now, there's some other symbols that early elementary students need to know. And they're pretty basic, and also this will be very important uh, at, as they're in school. Um, these are common things that you'll see every day, and you'll see for the rest of your life. These symbols are simple, but the symbol here represents a male, and the symbol here represents a female. Typically, you'll see these symbols on bathroom doors. It is important to recognize these symbols as they tell you which bathroom you are to use, whether you are a male or a female. And that's basically all the symbols that early, ch that early children in elementary classrooms up to second grade really need. Thank you.